Dwayne? Sup, man. Not much. How are you doing? I'm done. I can't cope no more, man. I mean, prison was easy compared to this shit. I'm sure it was. Fuck it, man. Fuck it all. I mean, I used to have everything. I used to run uptown. Bohan, all that shit. Now I ain't shit. Hey, let's get it back. No. I can't, man. I ain't got the energy no more. I've been stabbed in the back too many fucking times. I mean, there's bitches everywhere. Well, I'll do it. For you, I mean. Nah. Fuck that. Come on, man. Stop being so miserable. What did you lose? Oh, shit, man. This club. I'm talking a real gentleman's place. It's called the Triangle Club on Drill Street in Bohan. I'm talking real class, you know what I'm saying? But when I went down, some fucking gangsters came and took it. Well, I'll clean out the squatters for you. No problem. Man, you the real deal. I owe you. Big time. But we'll talk about that later. Man, you the truth. Sorry, Brucey, man. I'm about to go see some naked women, but this time it's business, not pleasure. We have to hang out another time. See you. Where's Jose, man? He's in the back, but he don't want to be troubled. You know how he needs to concentrate when he's counting up that money. Get up, I'm trying to count that. 
back here. There ain't no refunds on lap dancing. I got a piece back here. It ain't worth it. Oh, we're gonna have to leave. Nobody's going to be partying up in your club anymore. Playboy ain't going to be happy. What do you mean? He still did business with the gangsters that took over. Screw that. They fucked me, they fucked. Right? Playboy going to feel that shit. Sure thing, man. Keep walking. Dwayne, that's what I was doing. Don't help him out when it fucks up my business in Damn, son, that ain't cool.
What's up, money? Not much. How are you? Chilling. It's all good. Well, mostly good. Mostly? Yeah. Dwayne's been getting on my nerves. Pushing me, man. But whatever. We spoke about that shit already. Uh, give him time. He's just out of prison. <laughs> For real. Listen, G. Dwayne ain't the only thing I got on my mind. No? No. Some motherfucker's been calling me a phony, calling me a snitch, calling me all kinds of bullshit. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. Damn right. Until I discover that same motherfucker, well, he's got some real loose lips. Not bad. So, you'll need this guy silenced? Yeah, he hangs out with his team near the courts on Exeter between X and W. Okay. What does he look like? Well, son ain't too diesel or nothing. And he a regular looking dude, know what I mean? Now he don't flash his guap too much, but you can see it in his eye. He a hustler. Eh? <sighs> Homie ain't too brolic, but he ain't scrawny neither. And he be styling on him a little, you dig? I mean, he ain't too bummy, but he grimy too. So he's the average one? Look, he's brown skin B. Motherfucker be rocking baggy clothes, all that. Jewels and he stay fresh with the clean sneakers. Know what I mean? But sometimes a bandana. Look, I need more than that to go on. Jesus. Here, take this. Head down there. Take a photo. Send it to me. And I'll point out which one of them motherfuckers it is. Fine. And that's a little gift for you. It is the Laszlo Show. Where it's to? called Integrity 2.0 in association. To Exeter Avenue. All right, then. Let's do it. Here we are. Oh, thank you. And that's why the penetrators ain't doing nothing this season. They got no one who can work the lanes, man. Shit, Lieutenant. That's something I was forced into from the necessity of my financial situation. My body is forced to rob and deal in order to sustain my own well-being and that of my immediate family.
Marlon is the one dressed like a damn canary, wearing that yellow jacket and shit. Get rid of him. I'll do it. Marlin is dead. You the man, son. You money. You my ice cold Slavic killer. See you soon. Hey, taxi. Where can I We're take you? We're going to Bismarck Avenue. I know a fun way to go. Here we are. Hey, Nico, it's me. Yeah? Who are you? Can you remind me? That doesn't matter. You need to meet me outside the United Liberty Paper Building in Algonquin. It is very important that you be there. Goodbye. Catch you later. Nico, I'm getting worried. Roman didn't get back at all last night. He likes to party. He stays out late the whole time. You know what he's like. Not on my watch, he don't. Something ain't right. Man, I was out today and I saw this bitch coming out of nail place. She looked just like my old girl Cherise, the one you said you killed with Javon outside the arcade. You sure that was her? Dwayne, it was her. She screwed you over while you were inside. She's dead now. Shit, man. I could have sworn it was her. Sorry, man. She's gone. Maybe things could have been different in another life. Word. So we need Why to go to Conside Street. All right then, let's do it. Here we are. Thanks a lot. Get in 
Just get off me! Okay? Oh, oh, okay. Help me. Have a nice day. Oh. Hey, uh, Jimmy, how you yeah, doing? Uh, come on, Jimmy, uh, uh, let's go to my office. Okay, that's it, Jim, sir. Let's you're undercover. Oh. Hey, Chief. Uh, hey, Mitch, looking good. Gastric bypass worked out well for you, I see. Yeah, thanks. I'll tell my therapist about you. Tell him my boss keeps sexually harassing me. Oh, yeah, you wish. Oh, I could use a drink. You? No. Uh, Oh, the motherfucker thinks he can drag me down. What's wrong now? Oh, man. Uh, sure. Listen, uh, where to begin? I don't know. Let me put it like this. If a guy makes a mistake, should that ruin his life? People don't understand how life is. Life is like a, a bowl of fruit slowly rotting in a hot hey, kitchen. I don't give a fuck about the life lessons, friend. What do you want? I'm a good guy. I. He's got it all wrong. He's got it's but one stain on my character, and I'm finished. I want to make a difference. What? <sighs> Some lawyer. Big white shoe firm thinks he's a crusader. Some morality cunt who takes photos of guys in the shower at the gym and then jacks off on his wife's face. Hey, Some... enough! Enough. Sorry. Look, the guy's name is Tom Goldberg. Thinks he's got something on me. He's gonna go to the DA with it, use it to get into Congress. Okay. Yeah. So, it's him or me. And it might as well be him, right? But he's hard to get to. Guy's got a bodyguard, limo, everything. You're gonna need to get one-on-one -on -one with him. Not in the showers. Not in the showers, a job interview. Then you can steal some files I need. An interview? Sure. It'll be easy. You're an immigrant. They're almost legally bound to interview you. But, uh... Get yourself a suit. Okay. I will email you the details. You're a good man, Nico Bellic. A good man! Uh, coming from you, that means a lot. It does. Thank you. Frankfurt Avenue. Here we are. That's uh, very kind of you. Welcome. Don't spill shit on the computers. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. You can be whatever you like. It's the land of opportunity. Any fool can become president. All when you hear about the interview. Uh, excuse me. Take your time, bro. Look around. Dude, no offense. 
Did you walk here from Alderney or something? Mr. Bellick, this is Karen from Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister. We'd like to arrange an interview for you at the earliest convenience. Come into our offices at noon tomorrow. Is that all right? I can free that period up in my schedule. Super. Your interview will be with Mr. Goldberg. Press the buzzer and we'll let you in. Have a nice day. I have an interview with Goldberg tomorrow. Perfect. The smug bastard ain't gonna know what's coming at him. Teach him for sticking his nose in other people's business and get the files. Come back and see me again. I can't just give out jobs. You're gonna break some hearts in that. Nico! Shit is getting fucked up. I need to see you at my crib. How did the big real estate deal go? That cat ain't got no vision. Wants to shut down the site and shit. Make it a memorial to union workers who died in accidents? And fuck you, Sephar Mir. I got bigger problems. Come see me now. Right. Ah, you shit, have a 